want to I want to give you a story about Mbuvi Farm because I know many have asked why Mbuvi Farm, uh, who is Mbuvi, and it's good or I feel it's the right time that I give you the story about how Mbuvi Farm came to be. That was in 2016. Uh, Mbuvi is my dad, so of course I, I would like to keep the legacy and uh, family uh, name per se because uh, that will that is a farm that I anticipate one day, even when I'm not there, uh, is a farm that w will still have the name and it will live to, to, to its legacy, so yeah. So Mbuvi Farm, uh, of course being managed by Emma Sweets, the CEO of uh, Mbuvi Farm, came into being in 2016. Uh, at that point, there was no water, so I had to think about uh, putting up a borehole or, for a start I did a manual, the, the manual, the digging, the manual one. So that one kept us going and I planted the normal, um, the normal stuff, tomatoes, cabbages, skuma wiki, spinach. At some point I did onions, uh, but on a small scale. So that was 2016, 2017, 2018. There was money to drill a borehole. So of course, uh, I've checked. I don't think I have videos of that, but I have small clips that I can share. So we did the borehole in 2018 for the farm, uh, which is already powered. In 2019, it was already being powered by solar. And of course, 2020, the coronavirus and all that shenanigan, uh, farming stopped, money kept, stopped flowing. And I had, I had experienced a lot of um, challenges, me doing uh, on a small scale, like I would do tomato small scale, cabbage small scale, skumawiki small scale, meaning that I didn't have that population or also I was also learning because I'm not a farmer by not a farmer I, I've not I didn't go to I'm not an agronomist so I am a farmer but a farmer who is learning through experience um, because it's about passion and it's about keeping the, the family link the, um, the family name and of course uh, making something that at the end of the day I would be proud and I would be able to either do it full time who knows uh, so it's it's all about passion and it's all about taking a step on each project and and doing one thing at a time um, just checking what is working best what is not working eliminating some things of course a lot of challenges about um, farm hand uh, cash was, uh, the challenges are too many if you f if you drill down on the challenges you'll never be a farmer so farming is Fun. Family is a step at a time. So don't be discouraged and say, oh, I don't have land. There are people who don't have land. So go out and lease a land. So you, you don't need like to own that land. Uh, oh, I don't have water. Look for money. Get water. Uh, be a, be a full-time seasonal like farmer. You can produce anything at any other any, any time of the year. So don't de depend on the rains and all that. And then the other thing I've seen work eliminate all these crops that everyone is doing because now people are doing tomatoes uh, they're doing cabbages and if you do not have the population to to break even then you are doing it all wrong so for me uh movie farm has been a challenge but it has also been my happy place when i'm here i'm happy um i feel like i've achieved something i look forward to the weekends uh, because of course it's not my full-time uh, thing or hustle but um usually I, I look forward to fridays and saturdays and sundays when i'm able to come here and just relax and look at nature forget about traffic and all that um this channel mostly will be about guiding you as I mean, like the journey. It will all be about the journey, uh, about farming. I may not tell you, like, this is what you need to do because I'm not an agronomist, but I will tell you my story of how I started. I will give you encouragement along the way. Uh, and, of course, we can also discuss about the challenges that you have. I can see how I can help. Um, you can come for benchmarking. We can learn 
between each other. When you visit farms, when you visit shows, make sure that you are getting something out of it. And of course, tukutane Nairobi show kama itakuwa. Or, benchmark on my farm. Who knows? Thank you for subscribing to this channel. There will be more about this in the coming weeks and of course months. And I look forward to having you all. Thank you. Ciao.